guys, my name is Alondra from Me Padrino, and we have Kim here, founder and CEO. Hi, everybody. <laughs> so I get asked all the time when we're planning a quinceanera or a boda, how much food do you make for a party if you're going to be catering it yourself? So if you're not going to use an outside caterer, how much food do you make? How much mole? How much barbacoa? How many pans of rice do you make for a party? So I asked Alondra here to do some digging, so we had exact answers to tell you guys today. So just keep in mind, you guys, the more dishes you have, the smaller portion you need for each of these things. So these are just rough estimates for you guys. So the same thing, though, like if you don't, if you decide you don't want pollo and you're going to double up on beef dishes, then you're going to need double the amount of beef or like one and a half times that. So for chicken, um, so I broke it down per ounces per serving. So in total for 100 people, you need 37 pounds of chicken, which that doesn't make sense to you guys. So I'm breaking it down by how many packages you can get at the grocery store. So are we talking like little packages or like the big package? Like the big package. So like the five, five pounds of like the boneless chicken, you will need about eight of those for 100 people. Okay, so we got eight pounds of chicken. Yep. No, not eight pounds of chicken. Eight packages of eight chicken. Eight packages. Okay, I got eight, it. Eight, eight packages, packages of, of chicken. five pounds of chicken. Got it. You got it? I got it. All okay, right. Okay, cool. All right, so for beef, for your barbacoa, it's 37 pounds as well. So you need approximately 19 packets because those are smaller. Those are two pounds per package. So you're going to need 19 of those. Um, okay. Rice, you're going to need lots of rice. In stores, you'll find bags of rice for two pounds. You're going to need about six of those. So a total of 12 pounds for that. Speaking of rice, what kind of rice does your mom use? Does she use like the long, extra long grade rice? Does she like spend extra money on like the pretty rice and you have no idea because I can tell by the look on your face? No, it's like uh, the little brown rice. Oh really? My mother-in-law yeah. like goes all out and spends like 10 times the money on the bag of rice because <laughs> it's this like extra long, crazy long rice and then it turns out beautiful. I don't know what it's called, but go ahead. Anyway. No, my mom goes to Meyer and she goes to the Mexican section and they have bags of rice and that's where she gets it from. I wonder if it's like La, I don't know the brand. Anyway, go yeah. ahead. Anyways, right. so <laughs> salad. Um, so for your side salad, a head of lettuce can feed like five people. So you'll need about at most 20. That seems like a lot. But yeah, like m most Mexicans don't really eat salad anyway. Well, they do. Yeah. So, so maybe like 10, 10 to 15. Okay. That seems more reasonable. So for beans, you're going to buy four, four pounds of the frijoles, the dry frijoles. Um, do you, and wait a minute. Are we doing like refried beans? Are we doing like just pinto beans? Or are we doing frijoles charros? Yo, I was like <laughs> thinking um, just like mashed up frijoles. Oh, okay, so just traditional. But you, yeah. What the heck? Every party has frijoles charros, but that will be another video. All right, go ahead. Oh, tortillas. You forgot tortillas. <laughs> tortillas. So that's oh, okay. probably the most important part of this video. Do you like white corn tortillas or yellow? The yellow. Yellow. Corn? Oh, really? Yellow. I think they kind of smell funny. I like the white corn tortillas better. The ones that are coming like the wax paper baggy. Yeah, but see, I don't like tortillas from here. Tortillas from Mexico You're... are bomb. Dude, but we're not in Mexico. <laughs> yeah, which is why I don't eat tortillas from here. That's why she's so skinny. <laughs> it is. Okay, so um, how many tortillas do we need for 100 people? For 100 people, listen, I kind of did five tortillas each person, but... You know, it's an estimate, so 500, 500 tortillas for the whole party, but you're, you can buy like a packet of 80. I don't know if you've seen those packets, but there's packets of 80 out there, and you can buy like seven or eight of those for Yeah, everybody. and you know what? Do you know you can freeze tortillas? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, so for my son's quinceaños, we went like all out and got way too many tortillas, and we ended up freezing them, and we're still using them. It's great. Yeah. So now that I'm hungry with food, we need something to drink. Hopefully there's like margaritas or beer or something on her list of goodies. So what do we got for drinks? Okay, so for pop, for about 100 people, I would get about 20 to 30 um, two liter bottles. Uh, keep in mind that everyone's gonna be drinking pop though, which leads us to beer. Yummy. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, no, um, beer is for those kind of people that sometimes like to drink. No, I'm just kidding. Come on, now this is a fiesta. Everybody loves beer. I already got it. And you guys know you guys have that Tio Borracho in that party, so. <laughs> yeah, who's going to drink enough for like the five women right. that don't? I got it. <laughs> so for about 100 people, I would recommend about 10 cases. Um, that seems a lot, but not for probably Mexicans. Oh no, not really. I mean, I feel like that's kind of on the low end, but let's say just as a basis, 10 cases of beer. And then, yeah, and then you can like mix whatever 
different ones. Corona's, Modelo's, what yeah. other ones? Yeah. Sounds good. Um, champagne. If you guys are going to toast to something for the quinceanera, for los, um, what? Novios. Novios. <laughs> Come on, people. She has to have the gringa help her with the word for bride and groom. With the novios. Yes. You'll want to have at least, I know this, you'll want to have at least one bottle per table. So you'll want to make sure, because every table have toast, yeah. toasting flutes or little glasses and you're going to want to do a cheer. So it doesn't matter if it's one bottle is enough to fill every glass. People will only want a little bit in their glass. So just make sure there's one bottle per glass or per, per table. Yeah. All right. And then this is just um, a quick and easy recipe. If you guys like aguas frescas or chata, um, if you guys don't want to make it home, make the horchata. You guys can buy those glass um, bags um, and buy, I think they're like, what, 14 ounce bags that like can feed like, or 35 people can like drink from that like bag. You get three or four of those and then to make it really good, you just add lechera in there. You know lechera, the little can? So yeah. one can per one bag? Yeah. And you just mm. add that in there, and it Delicious. like makes it so good. I love horchata; it's so good. Again, <laughs> yeah. probably why I have a big butt, but that's okay. <laughs> I need to drink more you... horchata. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, you do. So cool. Yeah. What else do we have? Anything? Um, a couple just... tips for you guys: make your list of how many people. So this is just for a hundred people, but when you sit down, make your list, know how many people are coming, so that way you can either double up on our recommendations or double back down. So thank you guys for watching. Hopefully this helps you in your next planning extravaganza. I am La Huera. La Morena. And happy planning. Bye guys. Bye bye.